Well, the forecast's for a lot of wind from the north and then thunderstorms and rain and a change to the south. So I've got to find the best place I can to hide out of this wild weather. I think the Burrum River might be my best bet. This morning, uh, just after four, but um, we want to get the tide right to get into the barroom, so uh, we're going to head off now. <laughs> Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Okay, you've watched the video to uh, this point, so you must be interested. If you watch to the end, I've just got a little quiz for you that will help with some of your nautical knowledge. So uh, please watch the vid to the end and give us a comment on what you think the uh, mystery object is. Enjoy the vid, dudes. The wind is already blowing a bit as we leave the Burnett River. going to be a little bit ordinary out here, <coughs> up to about uh, 24 knots, so uh, yeah, we'll just have to take it easy going down to the barrum, I guess. I don't want to really stay in the river here at uh, Burnett Heads, um, be much more comfortable down at Burrum Heads, so we'll go down and see if we can get in. Time for some upper body exercise as I get the sail stowed. over this side of the river because we're out of the wind a little bit. I'd much rather be somewhere on my own. So that's why we're over here. Well, I'm glad we left early and uh, got here when we did because this wind is really blowing now and uh, 
we'll probably be here for a day or two I'd say it'll give me a chance to catch up with a bit of the editing that's well, a bit of a sign of uh, things to come the winds howling now about 25 knots I reckon uh, we're pretty comfy in here uh, good holding the anchor hasn't moved all day so that's great and we're going to stay here because tomorrow night there's supposed to be thunderstorms coming in so a bit of rain I'd say and uh, wind from you don't know where but uh, at least I'm here and there's not many boats around us and we're in sort of clear space and this will be a good spot to uh, ride out this little bit of crook weather I've been editing all day now I'm going to go in and settle down and watch some Stan I love Starlink. Well, I've moved over to the town side of the river this morning, and the reason for this is that uh, the forecast is for the wind to come in from this way today at about 20 knots, which will make it a little bit uncomfortable here. But then, nine o'clock tonight in the dark. We're going to get a pretty strong change. We're going to get thunderstorms after about seven. So I'll have to keep an eye out for them and watch what's happening. But then after that, the wind's going to go right round and come from this way. So probably a bit more sheltered in here than on the other side of the river. Of course, the uh, other thing is there's a pontoon there I can tie the dinghy up on and I can go and get coffee. Everything you need here in the Burrum. Well, the wind's getting up. This is from the north, but uh, the change coming tonight. So we're going to be on our toes all day, I think. Well, the wind's up over 20 knots now, and it's um, a little bit uncomfortable in the anchorage here. So I'm not leaving the boat this afternoon because I'm a little bit concerned about this wind and being on a lee shore over behind us there. If you're anchoring in places like this, always give yourself a little bit of room for error and um, stay on your boat. Make sure you can do something. If the wind gets up a bit more, maybe you could dra drag anchor, maybe you could part an anchor cable, anything like that could happen. Well, this weather's uh, been forecast for a while. It's uh, it started raining, I think, about midnight, and it's been pretty constant uh, all night. Haven't had any breaks at all, so... Uh, I don't know. Well, look at the radar. It's probably going to uh, ease up or go away this afternoon, but um, I don't think we'll be going to shore anywhere just yet. Well, what a wet day it was yesterday. It just poured all day. I think we must have had about three or four inches of rain. But um, yeah, it was a shocker. I didn't get ashore at all. And um, it's dropped off a bit now. The wind's gone at least. We had a fair bit of wind yesterday as well. The wind's gone and there's only showers around. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is go over and do some shopping in a minute. Uh, the, the store over there is open. Uh, I'll just go and get a few supplies and then I think we'll head out of the Burrum and uh, down into the Sandy Strait. The first chore is to drain the water out of the dinghy.
once I've done the shopping, I'll be uh, heading back out there into Harvey Bay, only for a little while, and then the Sandy Strait. One thing about all that rain, it's uh, really fresh, freshened the atmosphere up. It's uh, really crisp this morning, it's not. Well, the wind's gone. Uh, I hope the rain, the rain stays away a little bit. I think we've had enough for a while. Okay, let's head out of the Burrum. It's been good fun here, but um, yeah, good weather to head a little bit further south. I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm leaving here at low tide, so it'll give you a bit of an idea of what sort of water there is on the bar, if I can get out. It might be a bit too shallow for me. If it is, the tide's coming in now, so I can just uh, anchor up and wait for it, but uh, we'll just see how we go. some pretty shallow water now down to 2.2 um, I think the uh, track that leads you out of here on the chart is a bit out I'm leaving that a long way to starboard because there's a bit of a bank up here and I don't uh, I just eyeball it and I can see there's deeper water to the left of it so I'm going to leave that red mark in front of us uh, a fair way off the shoal off to the right of that uh, port lateral so I'm leaving that well alone give it a bit of a give it a bit of room I think it's so important to uh, follow your eyes when you're uh, doing shallow water like this I can see a little bit of broken water out on my right and it looks a bit shoaly out on the left so uh, I'm just heading in the direction I'm heading at the moment. We're in 2.4 metres of water at the moment and uh, it should start to um, get a bit deeper as we head a bit further out. But you can see a bit of a break out to the right of us there. That's shallow there. It's a very good indicator that it's shallow. And you can see a bit of a tide line out to our left. I probably think that's where the other bank might ride out. So I'm just gonna head a bit to the right of that tide line and I think that'll put us in pretty good water. So I'm way off the line on the chart, so follow those lines on the chart, they're usually pretty good, but be aware that sometimes they'll lead you into shallow water, so uh, just use your eyes and um, you know, use your chart, but use your eyes as well and make sure that um, you stay out of trouble by doing that, and your echo sounder, so if it starts to get, I've got my echo sounder set at 2 metres, I draw 0.8, 
but if the echo sounder goes off at two meters I know that I've got to start being really careful and I might even anchor up here I'm doing this on a rising tide so if I anchored up here I could wait until the tide came in a bit if I was worried about uh, getting out so um, that's how I attacked this this morning I think I think a bit early yet but I think uh, we're getting out into deep water now and I think we're going to be all right so I'll set up a course for uh, down into Harvey Bay and there'll be a few more banks to skip over down there too. So we're back in deep water now, um, three, four metres. Um, so that's the Burham River dudes. That was low tide, dead low tide, and it was a one metre low. So it's not a real drainer. Uh, it's a neap low. And um, I didn't get under two metres of water in that whole trip. Having said all that, around about here, we got about a 1.7. So, a bit of shallow water out in this uh, blue section before you come in, so be aware of that. Just around this area here, I don't know if it would be better going north or south of it, but around here, when we came out, 1.7 metres. So that's the shallowest I got. Well, I've decided I'm going to... Uh run down into the marina at um, Harvey Bay and put on some fuel. I've got probably plenty to uh, get all the way home, but it just makes me feel a bit better with full tanks when I'm uh, heading back out to sea and down past my lullaby. So um, I'll go in and get some fuel. Uh, my mate Steve's getting some blueberries for me. I'll put them on, might have some lunch with him, and then we'll head back out and uh, and uh, probably stay under Woody tonight. This is interesting, just tied the boat up in the public pontoon. I can leave it there for half an hour. And uh, I'm just wandering over the marina to have some dinner with my mate Steve. <laughs> Stevie. Well, there you go, mate. You good? You turn on the weather for me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, well. This is going to be very nice, Steve, and uh, this boat's for sale. It is, mate. Yes, it is. It's nearly high tide and uh, instead of going right out and around Woody Island, the island you can see in front of us, I'm going to skip across the back here. It's um, pretty shallow but I think we'll have enough water to get across the banks. It dries to about a metre in the middle but we've got about a 2.1 metre tide so I should have plenty of water to get over and uh, we can just get down to the end of Woody here and I think when I get down there I'll probably anchor up and that's where we'll spend the night.
getting to the shallow part now, it's time to watch our depth a bit. All of this green is indicates drying height, so this all comes out of the water at low tide. But uh, we've got a bit of tide on at the moment, and at the moment we're still carrying 3.3 metres. So we'll see how we go getting through here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Join me next week when I try to get the weather right to cross the Wide Bay Bar and then do a long trip down to Moreton Bay. See you next week, dudes. So this is a day mark you may see when you're out in the water. What does it signify? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching dudes.